Welcome back to another one of these Dokkan Battle videos. It's your boy Dev, and today we're doing a category categorization on Wicked Bloodline. Now, initial thoughts on Wicked Bloodline is that it's a good category. And I'm just going to say it's alright. I say that about most of the categories I've covered, but specifically, this category is it's, it's okay. It could definitely use more, but it's alright. Like, we could definitely use some more LRs, personally. Like, what we need is like a LR Final Form Frieza. Um, we already have a LR Mecha Frieza and King Cold, but it'd be really nice if we could have like a standalone Mecha Frieza, like a good standalone Mecha Frieza. Like right now, the most decent Mecha Frieza we got is this SSR World Tournament Reward card of Mecha Frieza. He's very lackluster, really. I mean, he's he's okay. He, he's okay. He lowers attack, does all that nice, has fear and faith revive all those good links but he's very eh. he, he's all right he's all right he's, he's not all that great as much as the other world tournament war cards are but anyways um looking around the category it's it's very linear it's it's not like wow it just doesn't explode off the page but there are really good options on this team you got str cooler you know people still trying to say that he's the best tur in the game we have Physical Final Form Cooler is going to get his easy A soon, as one of the 120%. We have this new Final Form Angel Frieza from the Tournament of Power. He's really good. We have this easy A Second Form Frieza, a really good unit. This easy A Full Power Frieza, who hits extremely hard. We have easy A Metal Cooler, who's one of my favorite support type units in the game. We have this crazy easy A Final Form Frieza from that uh, Final Form um, Full Power Frieza event. That gets an easy A, and he becomes a monster going up against the Goku family enemy, of course. Um, we have Tech Golden Frieza, one of, or, or if not the best defensive unit in the game. AGL Golden Frieza up there too. We have uh, this Int Golden Frieza, who stacks defense, he stacks attack. He starts out with the monstrous damage reduction. We have Transformer Frieza, who I argue is one of the best aging units in the game. Without a doubt, I, I talk about him very highly. We have Golden Cooler, who's a great support. We have Angel Golden Frieza. We have a bunch of good options around here, a whole lot. For sure it this this uh this team right here is not that bad it's not that bad at all we have options all over the place options i know i know people have pulled him in golden frieza people have pulled tech golden frieza agl golden frieza people have pulled this agl final form frieza people have pulled a good amount of one of these units on this team for sure especially full power frieza yeah. and you know people love str cooler you know you're running str cooler on this team you, you love him Come on now. But anyways, um, we have this LR first form Frieza who's about to get their easy A on um, JP. We have uh, full power Frieza who's, he's a good unit. He's a good unit. The only problem with him is that he needs to get hurt to activate most of his passive. Um, we have one of my favorite LRs in the game. I ain't gonna lie. Um, LR Metal Cooler Army, a good LR. We have uh, Mecha Frieza and King Cold, a good LR also. And yeah, that's the team, man. We have for the leader, AJ Metal Cooler. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, I feel like we need a new leader for this team. It's 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 a good team. It's a good team, and he's a he's an outstanding leader of key three one seven percent stats to Wicked Bloodline. But ah man, my only problem with Cooler is that him needing to hit like get hit to um, build up his his attack, like him needing to get hit to build up his full attack power is just. For me, completely honest, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit lackluster. Big lackluster. But um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just hopped on and just wanted to record this video. <laughs> you know, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, the good thing about AJM Metal Cooler is that number one, he lowers attack. Any unit that lowers attack is by default useful. Number two, he has big bad bosses. Number three, he has a 107% stats lead with three key with the bloodline. So he has a great lead. Um, he has big bad bosses, Thirst of Conquest, Strongest Clan's Base, Nightmare. He has a beastly amount of links. The only links you really aren't going to get on um, Wicked Bloodline with the Freezy units is Transform and Auto. Well, Auto Regeneration, you can get that with only the Metal Cooler Army and Int Metal Cooler down here. Has anyone else? No. No one else has Auto Regeneration besides those two. Yeah. But, um, he's on a good amount of category teams. Giant Form definitely needed him. Um, 
Wicked Bloodline for sure. Because Wicked Bloodline could use some more revenge. Eh, revenge really didn't need him, even though revenge is like. Let me take a quick look at revenge real fast. Revenge is. Revenge has a lot of good options. I don't think revenge really needed him, but yeah. He if he wasn't on revenge, it'd be a problem. Because the, the movies literally revolved around him getting his revenge on Goku. Yeah. That would have been very stupid if they didn't put him on the team. Well, no, no, no. LR. Well, LR Krillin can't be on the team, but you know. We all have problems, right? Um, He's only at 12,000 attack at 55%. That's, that's, that's okay. That's okay. And he's at 15,000. That's pretty low for... That's pretty low for a BFE. But this is back in 2018 of October 31st. So this was two years ago, Halloween. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> So, good link set. Good passive, but the thing is, is that who starts out with 80% defense? That's so, that's so low. Why don't they start him out with 100% attack and defense? And instead of him getting hit to receive all this attack, um, why don't they just start out with it? Like, why don't they just make this 70% <clears throat> attack when performing a super attack? Why not? No one would have been mad at that. He recovers 7% HP at the end of the turn, um, in which attack was received. And uh, he transforms in HP 60% or below. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I think that new Dokkan Fest Angel Frieza in the tournament power should have been a Wicked Bloodline lead, opposed to what Metal Cooler is. Metal Cooler is good, but this Frieza is better, obviously. They should have, this Otherworld Warriors, they should have X that. Or Rezu, no, 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 no. Otherworld Warriors can stay because it's only that Super Saiyan uh, to Angel Goku. And Resurrect the Warriors, this could have gone. Because we, look how many leaders we have in Resurrected Warriors now. Look at this. Look at the Revive Warriors lead. Look at this list right here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four leaders, not including the subs. Four leaders. He does, he didn't need, he did not need to become a Revive Warrior lead. You see, we already have Angel Golden Freezer. Why would you make the transforming Angel Golden Freezer? Oh my goodness. But, um, yeah. He should have been a Wicked Bloodline lead. Wicked Bloodline or Otherworld Warriors. That would have been perfect. Key 4 and 150% of the stats. 4 key for Wicked Bloodline. That would have been pretty monstrous. Oh, he stacks defense. I didn't even know that. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. Moving back over to the team. Now, um, any units here I wanted to talk about? Let me give it, give it like, a quick thought. Not really. This, this team is very straightforward. There's a bunch of support type units around the team. There's a bunch of heavy hitters on the team. Mm, yeah. I mean, because cooler, cooler hits hard. Uh, and Transform and Golden Frieza hits hard. Um, we have we have a bunch of hard hitters. We have a bunch of defensive gods in this team. Yeah. <laughs> it seems very... It's a good two-way. It's a good two-way team. Not as good as Universe 6, but it's, it's a good two-way team. Not great as Universe 6, though. Universe 6 is wild that's a wild team but um hmm i want to talk about lr full power freezer real fast and i want to talk about hmm who else anyone down here in the ssr list no, i'm even gonna pay attention to them they're irrelevant hmm i want to talk about you this str final form freezer and I want to talk about, I already talked about Transformer Freeze enough. I, I am very high on this unit. This unit has aged gracefully. Um, I don't think, I think that's it. I don't think I want to talk about anyone else. Oh, oh, and Physical Final Form for sure. I'll talk about him and who else? I think, I, I think I should bring up Mecha Freeze and King Cold. I'll bring him up too. Everyone else, nah, I'm not going to talk about this. Well, well, actually, let me bring him up real fast. We'll talk about him first. Now, I think everyone's familiar with this specific uh, final form, Angel Frieza, you know, from the, the one from the Dragon Ball Z special. Um, now, at least everyone, everyone, you've been playing for long enough, you have this final form, Frieza. You, you, you have to have him. <laughs> you have to have him. The one who's worse on global than JP. What are they going to do when they awaken him? They're going to make him the same, right? I would like to assume they're going to make him the same. You know, 
why didn't both versions just have a joint celebration during Halloween? Because <laughs> like, that would that would have made a lot of sense. Have these two get their awakenings, the the angel cell and the um the angel freezer. That would have been would have been fine. Yeah, but I don't know. Um. I just want to talk about him because, you know, the SSR is different on Global and JP. So I'm going to assume when they awaken him, he's he's good. He's good. But um, I'm going to assume they're going to awaken him and he's going to be the same. Now, I'm going to talk about LR Full Power Freezer first. So um, let's get a good view on him. Okay, so the first thing that jumps off the page to me is that in his 12 key, he sacrifices HP. Now that is, that's not good, bro. That basically forces you to get his 18 key every time and he, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the video today, Dev, it's not the video. But um, he starts out with two key and 80% attack and defense. That's not bad for a start. And the more HP he gets under, the more stats boost he gets. He's a big bad boss's unit over in a flash. I never knew that this freezer was over in a flash. Huh. Okay, so he's big bad bosses over in a flash. He has prodigy. He has he has good he's good links. He has good links. Over in a flash though. This is weird. Let me take a what let me take a look at what other freezer units are in over in a flash. Okay, so you have for extreme units, you have LR Majin Vegeta, we have LR Full Power Frieza. This is this is weird. This is very weird. Why does he have over in a flash, though? Hey, But, uh, yeah. Um, full power freeze. He has a good leader skill of key four and 130% of the stats of full power. That's that's not bad at all. He's four key and 100% of the stats to extreme ST. That's good. That's pretty good for Dokkan Battlefield. Um, he sacrifices HP. That's the biggest negative about him and him having to get under HP threshold. I mean, it makes sense for him that he's sacrificing HP. So, like, let's say that Bamco basically made that obvious that they want you to sacrifice HP on his 12 key just to get the rest of his passive. I don't like the sound of that. I mean, the idea is there. It's it's good on paper, but sacrificing your HP in a super attack, that's ah, uh, that's that's very dicey. It's very dicey. And on his um his 18 key great raises attack one turn. <laughs> you know the deal. You know the deal, guys. You know the deal. But anyways, um the lower his HP gets, the more passive buffs he gets. He, perform, he performs a crit when under 30% HP. And that, you ain't gonna see that very much. He has good links, prodigies, universe most malevolent. He has strongest clan in space, big bad bosses, B, 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 big bad bosses. Over in the flash, I don't know why they give him over in the flash. That's very odd. The only, the only possible team you're gonna be getting that over in the flash on is full power with LR Majin Vegeta. <laughs> That's really it purposely you, you're gonna get it with him as you ain't sending him next to the blue fusions <laughs> come on now um transformation boost now nah, Majin Vegeta is not a transformation boost uh wicked bloodline um what other wicked bloodlines have over enough none of them this is so weird why would they give him all right that's that's not important um he's up wow he's up over 18,550 attack Oof, and 21 attack damn 21,000 attack at rainbow this is a good unit this is a good unit. Good link set, good categories. Weird passive, but it, you can make it work. Um, <laughs> let's move on to the next unit. Uh, now this freeze out. <laughs> I swear to God, you guys, I never know when they have this greatly raised attack. That boy Z sword go. I never know when they have greatly raised attack. Anyways, um, the only bad thing about this unit is that he, he has a shitty leader skill. That's it. Other than that, starts over 80% attack and defense, and gains attack when gets hit um, within the same turn. Now this freezer hits really hard, really, really hard. I I, I don't know how, but he he's only at 10k, 55%, 14,000 at rainbow. <laughs> I don't know for a banner unit that's pretty pretty high. He's almost at 15k for a banner unit. Um, that's mostly because of his uh, his links. He has bro, he has big bad bosses shock. Wow, this is a good unit. <laughs> this is a good unit. He just needs to get hit, of course. But he could take a lot of damage. He could take he gives damage, but he could take damage at the same time. Um physical final form cooler. When he gets his EZA, he's gonna be crazy. I don't even know what they're gonna do with him. 
The only bad thing about this unit is that he greatly lowers defense. That's it. He came out in 2017, but he starts out with 100% attack and defense. That aged beautifully. And he has that chance to launch another super attack, which aged gracefully. He's a BB, big BB, big, big bad bosses. BBB, B, B, the triple Bs, I'm telling you guys. Um, he's big bad bosses, shocking speed. There's a conquest. Do I even need to continue? He has metamorphosis, which is very useful. 5% HP and 10% attack and defense. Now, that's one of the best links in the game. That's a good-ass link. The villain units really benefited from the link level update. Um, great links, great category teams. The, he has a great leader skill, too, of a key 3 and 120% to extreme physical, which extreme physical needs. Um, only bad thing is that shitty booty ass greatly lowers defense, but, you know, it really be like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Um, Mecha Freeze and King Cold. The first thing that jumps off to me to them is this lowering attack. Them lowering attack is just m marvelous. Just dashing, my boy. Just dashing. So they're three key and 100% sats to Wicked Bloodline. That's a usable leader skill. They should have made them 120%, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, starts out with 66% attack and defense at the start of turn. Plus an additional 20% attack per Wicked Bloodline category. And um, <clears throat> enemy, excuse me. Ally on the team. Up to 60%. So if you have a full team, with, well, you only need, well, if, hmm. You need only four allies, right? Was that four or three? That's three. Yeah, excuse me. That's three. So you need three other allies to get the rest of their attack buff, and they get nine key when they're going up against the Super Saiyan category's enemy. Now, Super Saiyan category enemies aren't really that common in the game, but um, when you do, hey, nine key. Hey, I ain't complaining about that. They have tough as nails. Why the fuck would they give them tough as nails? Universe is most malevolent. Brutal Beatdown, Thirst of Conquest, Strongest Clan in Space, Fair and Faith, and Legendary Power. Good links. Tough as nails. They don't need that shit. They can knock that shit off for big bad bosses. Why would they not give them big bad bosses? I don't know. They want to give everyone else BBB, but they don't want to give them the BBB. They want to put big bad bosses. Come on now. Come on now. Um, Not in that many category teams, but you're really going to be only be using them in Wicked Bloodline. <laughs> Come on. Uh, here, you're going to find them most useful in Wicked Bloodline. But um, yeah. I really think they should have made this 120, but hey, I'm not complaining. Because if they can make the... I think Bobbity and Deborah, I think they're 120% to Majin Buu Saga. No? I'm going to double check that. When they pop up. Oh, there they are. Let's take a quick look. They're one, bro, they're 130% the stats. Come on, yo. <laughs> That's a true leader skill right there. That's a real leader skill you could run. Come on now. They could have easily made the 130 or 120 at bare minimum because they dropped in 20. What? No, no, they could have made a 130. No, no excuse. No, no excuse. Oh, I, I overlooked the Razor's Extreme Class Allies attack by 30% for two turns. That's, that's pretty good, obviously. Uh, move on to the next unit. Oh, wait, no, we're done here. Okay, well, because I was just talking about that unit. All right. Am well, I thinking I'll just move into building, in my opinion, optimal team? Now, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, when I did uh, Wicked Bloodline Super Battle Road, um,. I ran double STR coolers. I did not run Age of Metal Cooler because Age of Metal Cooler, uh, he, if I'm being completely honest with you, he ain't, he ain't all that for Super Battle Road. I mean, he ain't all that great. The only thing that, that keeps him relevant in Super Battle Road is lowering attack and him transforming into that giant form, that big Getty star. Um, for all sakes for the video, I'm going to run Age of Metal Cooler as a leader since he has the three key and 170 cent stats. So 170% of the stats with 3 key, I can't really give that up. Um, we're going to work around it. We're going we're gonna to work with him just to like to see what good team. But now, number one, you already know. I'm putting Tech Golden Freeze on the team over AGO. I know they got their, their um, easy A's, but Tech Golden Freeze is still the best of the three. So Tech Golden Freeze, obviously, come on now. I'm not explaining Tech Golden Freeze. The only problem with Tech Golden Freeze is how does he massively lower defense? Ew. But um, my only thing is that I'm ignoring that Master Lowers defense, even though I, I hate when he gets lowering defense units. My only thing is that he doesn't have big bad bosses. But he, why does he have Super God Combat and Resurrection? Okay, Resurrection F, I'm fine with because that's obviously the movie he's from. But Super God Combat? Come on now. Okay, Goku and Vegeta can have that link, that blue Goku and Vegeta, the physical and tech one. But why, get this shit out of here, bro. Oh, okay, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. So obviously, um, Tech Golden Frieza, 
He can stay for sure. Uh, who else? Hmm, this should really be a no-brainer, if I'm being honest. So, I'm gonna drop... Uh, yeah, STR Cooler has to be on the team for sure. We're gonna sit STR Cooler... Hmm... STR Cooler next to the Tech Golden Frieza? Now nah, I'm just gonna throw a couple names on there. Yeah, Full Power Frieza is gonna be on there for sure. Definitely a great unit on this category. Yeah, we're gonna throw... I want to throw Full Power Frieza with Cooler. I want to do that. But at the same time, I don't. I want... Okay, I want Full Power Frieza with Tech Golden Frieza. Ah, but the thing is, they don't have Big Bad Bosses together. Ah, Cooler does have Big Bad Bosses, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're not going to throw them. We ain't throwing them together. All right, well, let's just slap a couple other units on the team. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This go no, no. Once he gets his EZA, though. All right, this, this T.O.P. Angel Free, he's definitely going to be on the team, for sure. We're going to sit him. Does he have big bad bosses? No, he doesn't. Does he have any transforms? Ah, uh, he, yeah, he doesn't have big bad bosses at all. I mean, that doesn't hurt because he's... This unit in action, this unit is crazy strong. But, um... I'm gonna leave uh, this Angel Frieza sitting right next to this Frieza. Yeah. Physical Frieza right next to Tech Golden Frieza. I'm fine with that. Because they're both monstrous. They're very monstrous units. Um, I should actually go over this Frieza too. I'm gonna go over him in a moment. Um, Full Power Frieza right next to SCR Cooler? Hmm. I mean, they both, they both have big bad bosses, and Cooler's gonna be supporting this Frieza. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna do this as a rotation. He's supporting Frieza. Frieza's on transformation boost, right? <laughs> yes, he is. And as support, I'm throwing a support on this team. We're gonna throw. I want to throw In Metal Cooler on there. In Metal Cooler is a crazy support type unit. It's either him or. Oops. Excuse me. It's either him or. Golden Cooler. I want to bring him Golden Cooler real fast. I forgot what he does. I know he's a support type unit, though. Okay, he stacks attack, and he gives all allies two key and 20% attack and defense. Oh, okay. Shit, I fucks with it. Um, Then we have this. Yeah, I'm running Int Metal Cooler over the Cooler. The other Cooler any day. Golden Cooler. I'm, I'm running Metal Cooler over Golden Cooler any day, for sure. Because he gives extreme class allies three key, 40% defense, and all allies for 30% attack. He starts out with 50% attack and defense for himself, and then he has all of his support type passive buffs. So, in hindsight, he's given the whole team three key, 30% attack, and 40% defense. And he's a wait, he's a big, he's not a big bad bosses unit. That's okay, that's okay. That's that's not bad for a support type unit though. It's not bad. It's not bad. Wait, is LR Metal Cooler Army big bad bosses though? That's the real question. They are. <laughs> you know, the thing is, you don't have to run these two as a rotation. Right here, this SCR Cooler and this Final Form Frieza and the Full Power one. You can run this Int Metal Cooler right next to LR Metal Cooler Army, and they'll dominate. Even though they're a bit squishy, and he's obviously squishy too, but they, they'll they do wonders together for sure. They, they'll be healing, they'll be, well, they won't have big bad bosses there, but they'll be healing, they'll be doing a whole lot of attacks. For sure. But uh yeah, we're gonna knock these two out. We're gonna put Int Metal Cooler as a floater. Let's say Metal Cooler. There he is. Um now if I'm being completely honest, what I was gonna do is no 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 no. I was gonna put uh Transformer Freezer right next to STR Cooler because Transformer Freezer right next to STR Cooler. Even at 55%, that man is that man's a little wild, but yeah, this is this is my uh, optimal team, in my opinion. Obviously, we have Aja Metal Cooler, double Aja Metal Coolers as leaders, but you know floaters. We have uh, our floater Int Metal Cooler being a dominant support of 30% attack, three key, and basically 40% defense to all allies because this is a full extreme class team. Then we have SCR Cooler sitting right next to LR Full Power Frieza. Then we have uh, this Physical Frieza from the T.O.P. sitting next to Tech Golden Frieza. So, 
Now, looking at it, um, I'm gonna go over this unit right now because <laughs> this man's crazy, but I haven't like got to sit down and just read the details for myself. So he stacks defense. People people fucking love people that stack defense. You love cards that stack defense. Starts out with 100 percent attack and defense plus an additional 50% attack and defense for five turns at the receiving attack with a medium chance of evading and super attack and uh, regular attacks. And within receiving attack, attacked enemies, uh, defense and attack lowered by 30% for two turns. So, okay, so when he receives an attack, he gains 50% attack and defense and he gains a 25% chance of dodge? Yeah, he has 25% chance of dodge. So he has, a, he has dodge chance 150% attack and defense, and attack the enemy, <laughs> he lowers their attack by 30% for two turns. And he could transform on turn one. Okay, so he stacks defense, which people love, and he gets hit, has a dodge chance, lowers their attack by 30% when he attacks them, and he starts out with 150% attack and defense, basically. Okay, so, <laughs> when he transforms, massively raises attack, Damn. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, so when he transforms, he has um his super attack effect changes, mass raises attack for one turn. That's a hundred percent, right? That's a hundred percent. He starts out with 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, plus an additional 80% attack and defense and a great chance. That's a 70% chance. He has a 7% chance to stun the enemy when performing a super attack and reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. So he has damage reduction under 49% HP with, when, okay, when he's performing, he has 200% attack and defense, basically when he performs a super attack with a 70% chance to stun, and he has damage reduction when his HP gets low, yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, this is a dumb boy right here, this boy is dumb, <laughs> wait, we, we went over, we went over, um, what? what the? Why are we on giant eight power? Hold up. Dude, we going on wicked bloodline. What's going on here? Anyways, uh, let's do the. Let's do our grading system now. Why not, bro? Let's, let's do this. Now, if I'm being completely honest, in terms of power, between one and five, hmm, there's definitely power on his team. STR cooler, physical Frieza. We have. Uh, Physical final form cooler who can still hit a high attack stat. We have uh, in Golden Frieza, so long as you link him up with this Frieza. You have uh, Tech Golden Frieza, surprisingly, if you get him under that HP threshold. We have uh, uh, Tech Golden Frieza, well, at the end of his phase. We have this this uh, this final form Frieza that transforms all the way to Tech Golden Frieza. But yeah, as long as you transform to the final part, but you know, who's getting all the way there? Asian Metal Cooler definitely hits hard. We have. Uh, LR full power freeze who hits pretty hard, obviously. Come on now. We know. And we have Hit Metal Cool Army who can hit hard also. So, in terms of power, there's not too much power. So, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 in terms of power. Now, in terms of utility, aka support, how much support we got on this team? So, we have, in specifics, we have. Do we have a dedicated. Wait, does Lucky Bloodline have a dedicated support? Does it? I don't think it does. Because he, he supports revenge. Is there anyone down here that supports Wicked Bloodline? Hmm. I don't know if Wicked Bloodline has a support. Like a dedicated support type unit. Um. Because you give. You support. Um. A type. Yeah, you support AGL. Um, what do you do, Cooler? I think you're... Do you have a support? Hmm. Yeah, he gives all allies two key. Okay, so that's only when going up against Goku family enemy. How... Okay. Um... Oh, oops. <laughs> I opened up in a completely new window. Uh, he is not a support. 
Yo, this team got no dedicated support. Wow. That battle, bitch. But you do have SCR Cooler. And you have Easy in Metal Cooler. So do you really need... And you have it. You have Golden Cooler. So you have three supports on this team. But there's no dedicated support. In terms of supports, I'm going to give it... Hmm, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. There's literally no dedicated support in sight. I can't, I can't find one. Unless I'm tripping. Nah, nah, nah. There, there's no so I'm giving the two out of five in terms of support. Um, versatility, I'm giving the four out of five stars because you, you just have defensive walls on here. You have uh, attacking juggernauts on this team. So I'm giving it a four out of five in terms of versatility. Tanking, I'll give it a four out of five also. You have, again, you have defensive walls on this team. You have some defensive walls on this team, so I'm giving it a four out of five. So in terms of power, um, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, good team, good team. I'm just gonna leave off on that. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is <laughs> this is the team that I decided to build. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll just leave off on STR Cooler because you know people love STR Cooler. People, you know, people suck this unit off. And, and I know you guys would be like, because you start going, it's fucking better. No. <laughs> but he is. Anyways. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Um, I'm going to be out of here now and have a good day and peace.